Visual novels are a relatively niche medium, but the fanbase has been growing kind of decently. We're at a point where you can get a decent following on YouTube purely talking about a relatively niche medium like this. Hell, even I recently got monetized. In this video, I want to go through a list of various visual novel YouTubers, both active and inactive, to raise awareness of potential types of visual novel YouTube content you may be interested in. I'm going to start with what's likely the most commonly searched for topic, 10-ish minute reviews of visual novels. One of the biggest rising stars in the last few years is The August Hail. This guy's channel is full of extremely well-edited, well-paced reviews of various visual novels, all without spoilers and using a 5-star recommendation system. Recently, he's been doing longer-form content of him describing his reading experience with the Udo Aru Mono series, as well as doing some short meme videos. Cub Like Foot is one of the longest-running visual novel reviewers. He does mix in reviews of a lot of regular video games too, but when he has a playlist of over 70 visual novel reviews, that still counts him as a visual novel YouTuber in my eyes. He's big enough to get paid reviewed copies of visual novels from official publishers, but one thing I always personally admired is his ability to remain completely objective despite being paid in a way to do reviews. He's not afraid to assign a 5 or a 6 out of 10 review despite basically being given a visual novel for free. In his own words, he likes to use the whole rating system, so he'll very rarely give out 10s or even 9s, and 5s are actually average for him. Bruce Gone Loose is a relatively newer visual novel reviewer. A while ago, he made it a point to make sure to have at least one visual novel review every Friday, though he has calmed down that a bit. He has a very well-edited visual novel review style, and is not afraid to use his unique style of memeing within otherwise well-spoken visual novel reviews. Acid Coon is one of the newest visual novel YouTubers on this list. He does visual novel reviews and makes it a point that he is a degenerate, and his reviews will have sections where he specifically talks about the degenerate parts of a visual novel or eroge. He's also one of the few reviewers who has his face on screen the vast majority of the time, and he will make sure to let you know if any Ara Ara girl is in the visual novel. VN Paradise is a channel I found recently, and seems to have a decent variety of types of visual novels that he reviews. One interesting thing he seems to do sometimes is actually get permission to read someone else's script or review on a game but just speak it himself with his own video editing. He also provides some level of visual novel news and notable lists and recommendations through some videos. Noisy Pixel, similar to Cub, has video reviews of both visual novels and regular video games. This channel has almost 300 visual novel reviews though, so that's more than enough to count him as a visual novel YouTuber. I actually first knew Noisy Pixel through their text reviews on their website, and it seems they mirror similar thoughts on both the text and video reviews, so it's cool that they basically give you the option depending on your preference. Buttercup Venus is an Otome specialized channel for 10 minute reviews. I don't really read Otome visual novels, but based on her view counts, it seems like having an Otome focused channel seems to be doing pretty well. It's going to be kind of weird including her since she's one of the biggest female YouTubers of all time and focuses more on hentai in general, but I can't deny Sid Snap has enough eroge and visual novel content to where she would count as a visual novel YouTuber in my eyes. Her signature loud YouTubing style is fused with a more serious review style of lewd visual novels she's read over the years. Next, I'm going to be talking about visual novel reviewers who tend to have longer essay-like reviews being at least 20 minutes or so on average. Ads is not only the most active one of these kind, but tends to have the longest non-let's play content I've seen related to visual novels. Some of his videos can be as short as 20 minutes, but some of his character analysis videos can be as long as over two hours. If you want deep, long, fair, analytical visual novel content, ads will be your guy. HyperX Needs sadly has not done many, as he calls them, visual novel review podcasts in forever, but he was one of the first visual novel reviewers I knew of and was one of my personal favorites for a long time. His videos tend to be either 10 minutes or over 50 minutes, almost nothing in between. I like how his thoughts are much more raw and ranty. They're not going to have the modern video editing style, but you can feel the passion of the stuff he really loves and hates about the visual novels he reviews. Zerion has slowly drifted away from doing pure visual novel content, but still has more than enough to be a visual novel YouTuber in my eyes. He started off his channel with more objective visual novel primers, where he would have non-spoiler guides onto what to expect from the visual novel, but he eventually moved on to Z Memories, where he talked a bit more subjectively about visual novels he liked, with his Rant series video going up to 45 minutes. KGO Kev is practically a specialist YouTuber, focusing most of his content on the visual novel Your Turn to Die. 
Putting him in a category was difficult since he has a lot of different types of videos. It seems like he has a mix of opinion videos, reaction compilations, general reviews, and even some short meme videos. Resting Peach Face is the longer form content for Otome related visual novels, but in her case she seems to have a variety of types of content as well. She does have Otome review videos, but also has Otome game recommendation videos, Otome news videos, and even some Let's Plays. Next, I'll be going over the fairly common Let's Play or Let's Read style of visual novel content. Visual novel Let's Plays are content where someone simply reads a visual novel on screen, but adds a little commentary as they're reading. Many of them tend to read the protagonist's lines and narration, since protagonists tend to not be voice acted. Now, I'm not personally the biggest watcher of Let's Plays, so I'm just going to list some of the ones with the most YouTube subs. Boss Choir is the biggest Let's Player I personally know of for visual novels, and the one I've probably watched the most. He has a high focus on moege content, and his commentary style seems to be entertaining for people. He's also come to be known as a very big fan of Elena from Senran Banka. VGVN Gamer has over 6k subs and gets at least 100 views on average, so that seems pretty successful for a Let's Player in my eyes. Rose Matter seems to be the biggest female visual novel Let's Player I'm aware of, with her focus on Let's Plays being on mystery or more serious plot visual novels. Michael SK has 7k subs and seems to have been doing visual novel Let's Plays for over 6 years now. Looks like he's still going strong as he seems to have content just about every single day. 6 Killa Gaming is another Let's Player with a decent amount of subs who post content just about every day. Beast the Barbarian's VN Hole may not have as many subs as Let's Players I just mentioned, but with those high view counts on his most recent videos, that means he must be doing something right. While technically not a Let's Player, I feel it's important to bring up the GoGo Nippon Live With You VTuber streamers. These are actually manga gamer funded VTubers of the two main heroines from GoGo Nippon who stream various content, one of them being streaming manga gamer English translated visual novels. Next, I'll be talking about the kinda rare podcast format. If you don't know, Podcasts are a format where at least two people talk about a topic for at least 20-30 minutes or so. A very new podcast started called Venture, starting MR and Tauros. I'm a bit biased since I've known these guys from before, but I like their focus on talking about general topics on visual novels. Kiniku Podcast is an older podcast that had a very interesting style where it kind of felt like a bunch of friends in a voice chat casually talking about the visual novel in question. They tend to talk about specific visual novels, starting with Little Busters, where their podcast name comes from, usually splitting up podcast episodes by route. Their episodes can sometimes get kind of wild, with them getting up to 10 or more co-hosts at a time. Keyverse is a fairly new podcast with a heavy focus on key and visual arts works. These episodes are actually first streamed in the Keyverse Discord, then uploaded to their YouTube later, I believe. This channel first started with Key Radio, talking about various topics related to Key, but have recently started a book club where the co-hosts read and talk about their thoughts on each route of Summer Pocket's Reflection Blue. The Broadcast Club is a now dead podcast that I was actually a part of and was my personal start to visual novel YouTubing. Similar to Venture, we talked about various general visual novel topics and even had a few guests for an episode or two. Another kinda rare topic in visual novel YouTubing is stuff related to the creation of visual novels. Vim is Lick Art looks to be the most active YouTuber I know of related to this. RenP is the most popular engine for creating visual novels, and his channel appears to have a lot of tutorials on how to use it in addition to a few other visual novel creation tips. Zeal Learnings is another RenP tutorial YouTube channel. I don't know how much crossover she has with Vim's channel, but it is another channel to consider for sure. Project Isferia sadly hasn't made visual novel videos in a few years, but he's made quite a lot of tutorials making visual novels in Unreal Engine 4. So if you'd prefer to use Unreal Engine 4 over RenP, hopefully you can use this channel as a reference. Soft Colors, the developer of Aquadine, made a few videos on the high-level process of making and releasing a successful English original visual novel. A topic that will always have its niche in any physical medium are unboxing videos. AI Heart Visual Novels is the channel I'm most familiar with and he seems to have imported a bunch of Aerogate related goods. Just keep in mind he tends to just put background music over the unboxing so you won't hear any personal thoughts or real-time box ripping or opening. And what may be the oldest visual novel YouTuber I know in terms of age, Food for Dogs has a lot of unboxing videos, and unlike AI Heart visual novels, you will hear her thoughts and in such real time. She also has different types of visual novel content like Let's Plays. 
Just keep in mind she has a lot of non-visual novel content too. A topic I'm surprised is still kind of rare are visual novel fan dubs. A cool ongoing one is Team Room Studios aiming to fan dub Katawa Shoujo. They haven't had progress in a while, but on Twitter they have stated they aim to continue as soon as possible. Games J Plays did a full fan dub of the original Doki Doki Literature Club. An extremely agitated hedgehog did a full fan dub of Doki Doki Literature Club plus side stories. Craig Zack is currently doing an interesting fan dub of Umineko, largely in response to the dropped Umineko Gold project. Not only is she voicing all the characters, someone actually redid all the sprite art just for this series. The last topic I'll be talking about are YouTubers who focus more on informational or analysis types of videos. Hopefully an OK Editor 357 does have a mix of anime and visual novel content, but has enough to count as a visual novel YouTuber in my eyes. While he advertises himself as a reviewer, I actually think some of his most interesting videos are related to talking about anime adaptations of visual novels and comparing them with the source material. Nanei-san is a kind of a mix of a review and analysis type of video visual novel creator. He may talk about companies like Type Moon and Nasu, or go deep in themes related to specific visual novels in addition to reviewing them. Weeb Jail, at least on his visual novel content, seems like a very specialized type of visual novel content. Most of his visual novel related videos revolve around the Steins Gate series, both in the visual novel and its anime adaptations. Warudo Chaos has a very interesting set of video styles, mostly related to, but not limited, to the Ryukishi 07 written visual novels. He'll have various character analysis, guides on how you would get started on a longer series, and even history of various topics like romance dating sims or the concept of Schrodinger's cat. Extreme S Manpig sadly hasn't done much visual novel YouTube content recently. He's made some interesting character showcases from the Type Moon series, and has also done some interesting content related to key visual novels and their anime adaptations. Bakao Chujin has a mix of tutorial, analysis, and opinion videos. I particularly like his guide on how to use the Visual Novel Database, or VNDB, because that's a topic I considered doing a video for, but he basically covered the points I wanted to. Finally, and I was tempted not to do this because I always feel weird shilling myself, but I, SuperAnge128, have a large focus on informational content, analysis, and top favorite lists. If you've been following my channel, my biggest focus is on the Visual Novel Monthly Recap, where, on the first day of every month, I highlight what I consider the most notable visual novel releases or any other related community news or announcements from the previous month. I do some top favorite lists on topics I like related to visual novels, as well as tutorials like how to buy visual novels, how to learn Japanese, and I suppose this video where I highlight various visual novel YouTubers I found. And that about wraps it all up. Hopefully in this video, you found a visual novel YouTuber you could start following or at least look up videos to see if you're interested in subscribing or something. I included a link to all the YouTube channels I talked about in the description below. If you have any input on any visual novel YouTubers I talked about or any you feel like I missed, feel free to leave a comment below.